Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel it's Walanda. so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys my jewelry collection now when it comes to jewelry for me it's more quality over quantity so i don't have a big collection but the collection i do have they are well worth it so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys my organization for my jewelry my jewelry wish list actually an unboxing yes and um, my jewelry collection so if you are interested go ahead and stay tuned so i don't have the exact prices for everything but i have an idea of where i got it from so when it comes to jewelry i only have fine jewelry i do not buy or acquire fashion jewelry anymore or cubic zirconium or plastic i don't carry any of those so i love to always wear my jewelry i don't like switching them on and off i will switch earrings here and there if i want another look but other than that if i have studs in they normally stay in so i definitely spent good quality money on good quality money so i do spend money on good quality pieces so they could last me forever so i don't like high maintenance jewelry i don't like taking them off before bed or shower or cooking or washing hands or any of that whatever is on me normally stays on me 24 hours no matter what whether i'm in a gym swimming it doesn't matter so when it comes to storage my jewelry collection is getting bigger and bigger little by little i definitely take my time when it comes to purchasing jewelry because one i want to make sure the jewelry pieces i have are timeless pieces that i can wear over and over and over and they're not trendy pieces and i gotta make sure that i actually love them and also these jewelry pieces are not cheap because i do not wear cubic zirconium i don't wear sriracha crystals i wear real diamonds and i wear pure gold i do not wear gold plated or any of that so they cost real money i have to definitely make sure the pieces i choose are going to be pieces that i want in my collection for years to come and not something i'm going to get tired of when it came to fashion jewelry i just hated how messy my jewelry store storage stash was and you know over time with fashion jewelry you definitely are going to get tarnishing you are going to get it's just gonna look nasty over time and i don't want to have to throw out pieces of jewelry all the time so i threw away all my fashion jewelry um, in 2018 and since then i have not purchased fashion jewelry i'm not planning on purchasing fashion jewelry i am all about good quality pure gold or pure silver if i ever get into silver <laughs> and um 100 like diamond jewelry behaves that's just my preference to each their own but that's just what I like, what I want to wear. All right, so when it comes to storage, ever since I started getting to find jewelry, I've been using this. It's like a travel jewelry box I got from Shein years back. And this is why quality, because look, yeah, I normally keep them in here. In here, it looks a hot mess. Like I said, I just got this from Shein. One time I made an order and this is what I have in here. Now I am going to be getting a new jewelry box and I will put up a picture here of the jewelry box that I will be getting. It is from Zara. I have not picked it up yet, but I think I'm gonna go pick it up today or tomorrow. So by the time this video is up, I will have B-roll on how that jewelry box look in person with my well, on film with my jewelry in it. And I think it'll be really cute on my dresser. So because I normally wear everything I have, um, this was good for the moment and it fit in all of my suitcases when I travel. But because I am expanding a little bit more with my jewelry collection, I'm definitely outgrowing this, but also it's starting to look dingy and I don't like that. So I don't know if I'll keep it for travel. It probably just glue this and keep it for travel i don't know because i normally don't like to bring too much extra stuff when i'm traveling and jewelry is not something that i switch off all the time even when i am on vacation so we'll see i probably keep it but for home i'm definitely going to be using the new zara jewelry box i am going to be picking up all right, so that's how I am storing my jewelry. As for cleaning, I don't clean my jewelry much. What jewelry I do have to clean is definitely the ones around my ears because they just gunk up 
so quickly especially when i am doing my makeup i do have this right here that the foundation always gets on and my studs as well so i do have to clean the ones around my ears very often the ones on my hands or on my fingers i normally don't have to clean them because i am washing my hands on a regular basis so they get clean with the what you call it the hand wash soap uh, so I don't tend to like take them off and clean them, but it's always good to clean your jewelry with the jewelry cleaner when needs be. All right, so let me go ahead and dip into the unboxing that I have really quickly before I go into my jewelry collection. So the last time I actually purchased jewelry, I want to say was my Cartier bracelet. It's, it's, it was one of these bracelets and that was back in 20. 21. So I was planning to buy some more this year really soon because um, I don't know if you guys follow my vlogs, but in one of my vlogs when my brother was here, we decided to go go kart riding and in the process of taking off my helmet, one of my studs fell off somewhere on the on the track. So that's gone. I do have the other one still with me, but since then, I just took both, well, it was only one left. So I just took the other one out and I did not have anything to replace it until recently. So last week, I did end up going to the Dubai Souk. So I ended up meeting some friends at the Souk. So I was like, you know what, since I'm there, I needed to come out here anyways. I went ahead and made that trip a little shopping trip. So I went into Malabra, Malabar Golden Diamond, and it's a very popular um jewelry store out here in dubai and they have really good prices um especially in the soup and i only say this because i have been looking for more jewelry pieces when i was in the states but i did walk up in there and i really love that store honestly i love a lot of things that they have in there they have some very unique pieces the first piece i did pick up i am wearing it because i walked out of the store with them on because my holes were about to close that's how long i did not have um earrings may june july so almost three months i haven't had anything in these earlobes so they were starting to close and it was painful for the man to put the earrings in my ears so i just had him just keep it in there and i walked out with them on because i was not about to go induce that pain on myself when i get home so i really love these earrings because they're just this square shape earrings all of my studs are square shaped because i just love how that look on my face it could give you a very sophisticated and formal at times and then of course if you're casual you barely see it it's, it's gonna blend in with whatever you wear sweatpants whatever so it's diamonds all in square almost to like a pyramid shape and it's spaced out it's not all clustered together what i can say about malabar's earrings the studs especially and the man told me because i was like yo i need something that's a little bit pointier because if you see the back of the earring it's flat and it, it's a screw so i love that it's a screw earring because it's not going to go anywhere but it's flat and it's kind of thick which made it really painful for them to put the earrings in my ears because my ear holes are not that big and they were closing up anyways so he told me they cannot have any earrings that are pointy because it's like i don't know you have to have a, a cert certain certificate for that or something like that like i don't think they can give you piercings over there even with the piercing gun so um just keep that in mind so i really love these i've had them on since i purchased them like i said i don't take them off so they look cute right yeah so this is the box that their earrings come in. It's just a blue box. It's textured and it has the M on it for their logo. And this is the earring box. Really cute. And this is the second earring piece that I picked up. So these look more like the old earrings that I normally have. These are definitely way bigger than the old ones. This is cushion shape. I really love how this looked on me as well. I will definitely end up switching it. I think this is going to be more of my everyday and these are just going to stay as my like 
formal i guess or maybe if one get lost i have a backup because honestly i'm not planning on purchasing any earrings anytime soon normally i like a good one or two set and i'm good because like i said i don't like having too much and i don't like having a lot of stuff that i'm not using so a good two set of studs is good yeah they have warranty on it so the diamonds are gold are certified they come with the um what is this id report so it tells you exactly how many carats of diamond you have gold how much it weighs, and all of that for each item it gives you all the information it gives you the the number this is basically an authenticity card and a certification card for your jewelry which i really love so if i do want to resell any of my jewelry pieces that i purchased from them back to the company then i just have to have my receipt and this certificate to make sure that it's legit it's real and it it is from their company so that's definitely dope another reason why i love getting authentic real stuff is because i could always get my money back get more back or get at least something back for what i paid for this is the first company that actually given me something like that for my jewelry pieces so i really definitely appreciate it and it just shows how guaranteed they are when it comes to their products and how i don't have to worry about anything just as long as i have this stuff i don't have to worry about like if one of my diamonds come off because I, I have two diamonds that came off off of my rings and i'll talk about that later but i can't do anything about it because where i got it from they didn't give me any guarantee or anything so you definitely have less stress just take it back to the manufacturer and normally they will you know they got you normally they got you all right so the last one i have i picked this up while i was over there because i wanted a earring like this like i said i normally don't take my earrings off but i wanted one that is not a stud for those times like when i like wrapping my hair up i want more of a statement type piece earring and i went ahead and picked this up from malabar as well these are super super cute you could definitely get fashion earring dupes like this they're kind of on the they're not small but they're not huge as well so i like big statement earrings for certain looks but honestly i don't really care to go and collect a whole bunch of big statement earrings so little by little as my collection grow then i will venture out to more um i guess bigger pieces that if i want to switch it up then i can switch it up but these are hoops and they are textured i really love how they look they look very very timeless these are 80 karat gold and yeah they i tried them on in the store they're not heavy at all very lightweight and they're just super super cute like if i wasn't lazy right now then i would unscrew these and put these on instead but like it's not necessary so i don't have anything like this at all all i have are studs so i think this is a really cute addition to my collection all right guys so that is all that i picked up from malabar i really love what i picked up and i can't wait to pair them up and wear them and all of that good stuff so with that being said let's go right into my wish list of jewelry items it's not a big wish list at all that's why i wanted to go ahead and include this in the beginning before i get into my jewelry collection because i don't have much i want to be honest one i do want a nice watch i don't know which watch yet so over time when i accumulate the money and when i actually put the effort towards to looking for one then i'll do that other than that i know i want a cute watch piece not sure from which company yet i just know i don't want it to be like diamond encrusted or all of that <laughs> i just want something really simple very cute very classic probably both gold and silver i'm really thinking about a rolex but i know there are other companies out there so i don't want to just go with rolex because it's a rolex i really want to take my time and look into different companies and i like different stuff so i really want to look for a company that nobody i'm not gonna say nobody has but not a lot of people have or is raving about just you know so i can have a piece that 
is unique that is mine that is my own and not something because it's hyped or raved about so the next piece i do want i kind of got sucked into it when i was picking up these pieces from malabar i didn't think i wanted one until i tried it on in store i do want a tennis bracelet and i really am did not think i would want a tennis bracelet because they kind of look chunky and just eh. But the one that I tried on in Malabar, it was small and I love denty type of jewelry. So it was it was denty and it was it was good. It was looking good. Like on my arm, it looked really good. I have small wrists, so that's why I tend to go more of a chain type bracelet and not um bangles and stuff like the love bracelet because my wrist is small and it just be looking weird with when I try them on and I've tried them on. So I do like more dainty chain stackable type of uh, bracelet. So I do want this tennis bracelet, but I have a plan on how I'm gonna finance this tennis bracelet because the one I seen at Malabar was a good price. It was 4K for a 2.7 carat diamond uh, tennis bracelet. And I was looking online doing my research and it's normally way over that. So. I definitely was like, oh, this is affordable, but I do not want to just jump in and buy pieces that I did not accolade for, accolade, yeah, or pieces I was not planning on purchasing that time, you know, I don't want to just buy stuff on the spot like that, even though I tend to do that a lot because if I see something and I like it, I get it if I can afford it, but I want to really slow down and not do that so much. So I have a specific plan on how I'm going to finance it, which is going to take longer for me to um, get the money to finance it, but it's okay because delayed gratification is real. So I feel like the, when I work more towards it, I'm going to have more of a, uh, satisfaction when I finally get it instead of just be like, oh, okay, well I got it. I see it. I get it. Like I feel doing that. I won't appreciate the items as much as if I actually went in, um, took my time and saved up and do all of that good stuff. So I mean, one of these days, y'all probably see me come into a haul with the tennis bracelet. And the last thing on my wish list is not really a specific item, but it's more of a category. So I want from now on to customize my own jewelry pieces. So instead of just going on Cartier, Van Cleef, or I don't know, any diamond stores and getting their pieces i want to design my own piece so customizing my piece will definitely allow me to have my own unique item and being that i'm in dubai gold and diamond like jewelries are less expensive than other places so i feel like customizing my jewelry here will be beneficial anyways it probably will cost me less than getting something that is mainstream one and two like nobody's not gonna have what i have and i like i said i love that i love that uniqueness like I feel like these designer bracelets that I have are going to be I, I don't want to say I'm never ever gonna buy another designer one because I don't know what's gonna come out but at the same time like I'm not pressured I'm not stressed I'm not fiending to go get a piece just because it's Van Cleef a piece just because it's Cartier you feel me so I'm definitely going to go into the more creating my own customizing my own designs Yay. <laughs> or jewelry, <laughs> jewelry pieces. So that is all I have for my wish list. Let me go ahead and get into this collection really, really quickly. So starting off with rings, I don't have many rings at all because I have just so many fingers and I don't like switching them out. Like I said, I am going to start off with the first ever ring that I ever had. And it's the most, I don't have a lot of sentimental pieces at all to be honest but this is the most sentimental piece i have my mother went to walmart and got me my first ring this is gold i i want to say i don't even know if it's gold plated or 100 percent gold but i've had this ring since i was 16 years old she gave it to me for my sweet 16 it actually says my name on one side walanda and on the other side it says sweet 16 and in the middle it is a cross and it is my birthstone color which is september so it's 
I don't know what's, what's the color called, but it's blue. Sapphire. There you go. I mean, I love this piece. It's gold. It goes with everything. I never, ever take it off. I took it off once and it got lost. Since then, I've never taken it off. That is my most sentimental and my oldest piece. <sighs> yeah, I, every time I see it, I think of my mother. So that's that. So the next set of ring I have, I only have two out of the three. The third one is in here and it's silver. So you guys know I'm more of a gold person. Let me double check. Yeah, this set, I did get it from Orlando at the outlets. No, no, no. Actually, I didn't get that in Orlando. I got that in Saks Fifth, Saks Off Fifth in atlanta i went in there looking for some jewelry pieces it, they were on sale at, at a better discount even though i still feel like sex office is still kind of overpriced for their jewelry but you know it's sex office even though they're supposed to be discounted um because these pieces i got them for more than i did the outlet that i got my next piece from in orlando but anyways it was a set of three rings just simple diamond rings and it had a gold a silver and a rose gold and then those pieces are the two pieces that both of the diamonds i have are off so the quality is not even there so i would rather get pieces from an actual jeweler jeweler what i know is backed up guaranteed because the gold and the rose gold has one diamond that is off so after learning what i've learned from malabar with the prongs it definitely was a prong issue and i'm just hoping that no no more comes off because then it's going to start looking tacky so where they are you can't see it because they're like both on the edge um but all in all am i ever gonna buy another jewelry piece from a department store like that no, I'd rather just go to an actual jewelry and get it from there. So the next piece I have is this infinity ring. That one I did get from Orlando in an outlet mall. I really love this piece because it just brings something different to my hands. Yeah, I think I got this for a good price. I actually really like that store. They have really nice pieces and they have them at a good discount. So most of the time, if I have time when I'm in Orlando, as soon as I get off the plane, I go straight there just to see what they have, just to see something I could pick up before i start my orlando trip so that's that so next we could go to necklace because i don't have much neck mini necklaces so this necklace i did get it from Saks off fifth i remember and it has a diamond straight across i used to stack this necklace up with this one this bar one without a diamond is just a gold bar and i really loved how the stack looked but then as of recently i just took this one off honestly because they were always just not aligned together <laughs> they would always just be moving around for no reason and just getting tangled up together so there was no reason for me to just have both of them and i really love the just the one with the diamonds anyways i do still have the one with the bar in storage whenever i want to stack them up i can it's really cute so this is another necklace that i got from sack off fifth i want to say all of them bought around at or about around i think they were having a sale that was like let me get this let me get this let me get this. I think that's what it was because for me to get all of these pieces all together in a short period of time was extra was extreme but you guys have to remember i had no necklace like one ring so i was really building my collection after my first my first dip into fine jewelry so yeah anyway so this is just a basic necklace but this is not diamond or anything it is still gold i think this is probably like 14 karat gold um it's it's kind of it shines in the light a little bit it's more it has huh, how do you say this it's cut in a way where every time it moves like it shines it sparkles a little bit even though it doesn't have diamonds or anything so it was really cute it's just very plain so that's why I, you know don't wear it often but it's here i like it and honestly if i want to put a pendant i can find a pendant to put in it and you know it'll be just that but wearing it on its own is not something i do at all all right, when it comes to earrings, you guys already know, I just purchased these. So my Trigus earring is the same one at the top. That's the pair. I really like how it looks. It just, it looks cute. Like I really, 
I love it. <laughs> I don't exactly remember where I got these from, to be honest. They're just simple little studs. I cannot remember. Yeah, I just keep them there. So the next one I have is this bar. I lost the other one as well because these, they don't, they don't have anything really to hold the backs. They just loosey woosey on the back but i love this look right here this just regular bar oh this bar i bought it from sax office as well all right yeah so that is all for my earrings next i'm going to be talking about bracelets so this bracelet i really really love honestly sometimes i'll be forgetting i have it this one i remember i got it from the outlet in orlando first bracelet piece that i purchased and it is all diamond i really love this piece but I really hate this piece sometimes so I have a love-hate relationship with this piece so that's why I kind of put it to the side it did break and I had to go get it fixed because it's one of those pieces where it um it does this it's for you to fit for it to fit on your arm all of this extra right here is snags on everything so i hate that about it to a point where the ball actually snagged off and i had to go get it repaired i really love it because it's cute and it's diamond like i can't i cannot wear this every day i literally always had to take it off and put it on when i'm going to like do a video if i'm going out to dinner and y'all know how i feel about that i don't care to take off put on take off put on so that's why i completely forgot i even have it until i opened up my storage because like it's not on me all the time but i really love it this diamond should not just be sitting in my dresser and not being used it's, it shouldn't like that's against the law I should be wearing all my diamonds and i love the look of it it's very dainty and it's different it's cool but at the same time it kind of gave me like i don't know a spanish brazilian vibe i don't know why maybe because of ball and the links and all i don't know eventually i'll wear it again maybe when i get the new um jewelry box and it's i could see everything that's why i wanted that jewelry box because it has a glass case on it so you can see all your jewelry so you can be more aware to like wear it and not just have it hidden away all right so the next ones are my two uh, these are my two designer pieces i bought the cartier first i want to say i bought the cartier i remember because i think i went on january 1st on new year 2021 to go purchase it but Lennox was packed. My Cartier was the first designer piece that I picked up and I had a whole video of me unboxing it. I wanted to do it for Instagram, but it got deleted. So I don't have it anymore, but I think I did an unboxing on my channel of it. I don't know. So this is the Cartier Love. I want to say it's a love bracelet, but it's not the bangle love bracelet. It's the chain love bracelet. And honestly, I wanted it because everybody was talking about the bangle love bracelet. And I was just getting tired of it because I seen it everywhere. And you don't see this much at all. At least when I purchased it back early 2021, I only seen a couple of videos of it. Not many people had it. So I was like, I'm getting it <laughs> because I don't see it everywhere. So I really love this piece, even though it is a pricier piece compared to the, like what is worth when it comes to the weight of the diamond not the diamond but the weight of the gold but of course you're paying for the name and the gold so would i be getting another designer piece mm, no i don't see myself getting another one because honestly for it to be a designer is one of my least shiny <laughs> least sparkly least shiny uh jewelry piece it is all gold but yet it still looks dull the only time it looks shiny is when cartier themselves clean it i did have this fixed because as you can see it's still kind of big even though i had them take a link off it was way bigger but one time it broke because it got caught in a car door so i had to get it replaced and while not replaced but i had to get it fixed and while it was getting fixed i said go ahead and take off some links they didn't take off enough links but they took off some links but it's still too big but it's okay because this will be the hand that i will be wearing my watch that i am <laughs> manifesting or working towards to get so when i have my watch on it's gonna 
you know, stop it. It's not going to allow it to be moving up and down. So that's why I really haven't got, taken it back to Cartier to get it adjusted again because eventually I do want to get a watch. It's there. It's cute. It's dainty. It's me. <laughs> and then the last piece I have is my Van Cleef. So I went to Van Cleef. I want to say either like the end of February. I know it's after Valentine's Day because I've seen videos of it, but I wanted to see it in person at the next mall. They did not have any in stock. They said they people came and wiped out all the inventory. So, and you guys already know, everything was already backed up anyways because of COVID. So I couldn't see it in person. So I called Van Cleef's Customer Service Center and they sourced it out for me. They found a boutique in vegas that still had i think one or a couple left and they went ahead and just shipped it to me so that's how i was able to get my van cleave sorry i didn't even tell you guys what's the name sweet alhambra bracelet and i really like it it's real cute like it's definitely fits me it's small it's dainty and what i love about this bracelet is it fits my wrist perfectly it has two adjustable sizes and it's on the second one so it's just a little bit that is dangly other than that like it fits perfectly it's definitely made for small wrists i'm gravitating more towards the non-designer and just customizing my own thing with more gold weights with more diamond carrots on it so i could get more for my money than go and pay like 1800 one of them was 1800 i think the van cleef when I purchased it was 1800 and for the three pieces that I got from Malabra with way more gold, way more diamonds on it, it was about 1700 for all three pieces. So for one piece and it's 1800 with no diamonds on it, I could get a bigger bang for my buck, you know, I'm just saying. Woo! All right, guys, that was a long video. That was a lot of talking. So I thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions down below. What is your jewelry collection looking like? Do not forget to follow me on Instagram at importer underscore chocolate. Like, subscribe, share, comment, do all of that good stuff on this channel. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.